So, uh, good evening to everyone. Uh, I thought I'd make a small video. Uh, everybody's posting uh, about uh, using uh, the artist inks, and uh, a lot of people are buying them, but uh, most often the question uh, here is oh, where do you start? Uh, easiest idea is get them into your airbrush and start uh, just start shooting them and stuff uh, and I have a paint commission at the moment uh, for a local guy and I have to paint about a million of these uh, uh, plasma pipes and uh, he wanted a little bit of a <sighs> rugged and uh, worn look to them uh, so I done these and now I'm going to uh, just uh, spice them up a little bit and uh, the I will do two things uh, to them first I'm going to use uh, burnt umber uh, and going to shoot it through my Sotar 2020 uh, and uh, I'm going to just uh, weather weather the pipe so I put this liquid -tex burnt umber just without diluting or any, anything into the airbrush and just going to more or less line all the panels uh, but uh, and trying to not shoot in the center of the panels let's say uh, but but you can be quite uh, rough and haphazard as as this paint job itself is uh, uh, quite rough uh, as uh, the idea of terrain is not to overshine the uh, models that you put on the table I think uh, and also a good idea to keep in mind is uh, that uh, the terrain uh, or things don't weather evenly so it doesn't have to be perfect uh, what I've done and the paint job is basically I've uh, primed all the pipes black uh, then uh, uh, went over them with uh, Gone metal, that's a Vallejo air color. I will add a picture of all the paints used also later on. And then uh, I did uh, uh, the thing I use is I dilute down. Basically, this is a pipe is weathered. Uh, I dilute down uh, brown paint and again go really splodging and haphazard over the whole model uh, and then I use give it an Agrax earth shade wash and just uh, just a dry brush with uh, Necron compound and just all over it the whole model and I, I, I don't do any only detail work basically I do is when I use Balthazar gold on the bigger what is it nuts and uh, and, and the like copper piping that's on the model and uh, yeah, the, especially the uh, Necron compound uh, dry brush is also done like really, really rough. Uh, and you can have that at some uh, points your brush isn't the most, like isn't uh, super dry uh, because uh, again, uh, weather and uh, uh, you know it doesn't uh, weathering doesn't uh, affect uh, uh, objects all the same so 
or you can have like larger scratches on the models in some places and then almost uh, uh, no scratches in others and uh, artist inks uh, I haven't diluted them so I'm just shooting them through the just as, as they are from the pot to the soap tar and then uh, onto the model I think this is the last one I will do and then I will do a quick clean of the airbrush and then I will take my Badger Patriot and show you also how, how like the easiest uh, plasma effect that I, I, I found out I'm clogging a little bit but no worries I will run some water through the airbrush in a moment Yeah, that's it. Uh, the thing I try to do, I try to keep the mid centers of the panels uh, like a little bit lighter and uh, uh, not shoot the uh, ink into them. Uh, and that took me now, what, seven minutes and I talked for one minute in the beginning. And here is a bio, like uh, one pipe next to them that I didn't do anything to. Uh, I will do a quick clean of the airbrush and Uh, then we change the paints. Actually, I just got my Sotar, so I, I'm quite new using it. Uh, it takes uh, a little bit getting used to after using the Badge, Badger Patriot 105. Uh, so now I take this. I use it as uh, together with Liquitex uh, is it? titanium white and uh, now what we will do we'll do a plasma effect uh, using uh, we do like a green plasma uh, effect on the on the coils of the model uh, I used to do when I painted my own pipes I used, uh, I did a blue plasma effect, but uh, layers and layers of uh, blue paint going lighter and then white in the center. Uh, but uh, on these models, I tried something new and check it out how easy it is. So basically, what you do, uh, you you just spray white ink. Uh, a little bit too much in the center of the coil and we do we do it on all of them that's, it. that's one sorry if it I can add also a picture of my uh, ad hoc uh, setup. I thought when I was, uh, I thought I'd make this video. My uh, 
camera for my mobile phone is attached with uh, what is it white tack or blue tack basically to a, a, a thing a lead light and that's what's keeping it up okay on this pipe there is nothing to do so this pipe is ready and uh, the th nice thing with the uh, white ink is that it shoots I just put it in the airbrush and that's how it goes through I didn't dilute uh, it at all and uh, it just runs through the airbrush uh, of course you get if you shoot a lot of it it wants to get it still gets a little bit of dry tip but uh, basically the white ink is uh, best kind of uh, white you can shoot through the airbrush that's what I've found so I do a super quick clean basically running water through it through the airbrush and check just check that the needle is clean and then empty out the cup and uh, as I showed before vivid lime green again just into the cup just a tiny little bit and uh, and the effect you will get Uh, uh, and with the white you can also have a, a bit of overspray and it's completely okay and the lime green also that you can just go overboard this makes the effect that there's some like it's glowing around from from the coils as well and basically how the effect you get is that because the edges are darker the, and the center is lighter then it's just like this awesome super easy uh, plasma effect and basically one pass over with white and another with the green and uh, uh, this pipes are done uh, sorry if there is any vibration in the camera because I'm on a ship so we move a bit and there's like some natural vibration through the hull and that's why also uh, there might be vibration in the camera so that was uh, my quick uh, video about using uh, artist inks and uh, how easy it is to get cool effects and uh, you don't have to be a genius you just need to own an airbrush and uh, don't uh, be afraid to use them uh, if you're a little bit afraid on using them straight on your painted models just try out on some terrain uh, paint some different colors and uh, even on the let's say i have a table here uh, paint some colors here and cover them see what happens uh yeah uh, i've been i am tunnel
Uh, I'm a hobbyist, I'm Phil. And I hope this was helpful to you. See you next time.